Alright, let's do a quick and dirty of the Mica MB42s. Uh, they're small, 4 inch driver. I think it's a 3 quarter inch soft dome. They are ported. They are relatively light. I could weigh them, but I'm not going to. I really, really like the grill. The material of the grill, the fabric is, I don't know, it's like 80s fabric. I've had a lot of 80s speakers, and it's, I don't know, I love it. I love the 80s fabric. It's also, the way this is built allows you to completely rotate the grill upside down, which if you want to have the drivers on top, you could still have the mica label on the bottom. And that's not a huge thing, but I... I like to keep my speakers like this. I don't know, personal preference. A couple of the uh, physical issues. They're, they're actually built really nice. The finish is really nice. Way better than the Dayton's have ever had. The only one little thing on here is there is a seam on the bottom. Well, on the foreign side that I don't know why there's a uh, vinyl seam there. Never really had to see a seam on a speaker. Uh, and the other problem which sort of blew my mind was I have here are the uh, banana clips the, they're you know space for every single speaker on earth that comes from my Behringer amp and I went to plug it in da okay why why every speaker I've ever had even spring connectors a properly spaced set of bananas will just go into and this is this is like a, an eighth of an inch too wide and that's just ridiculous that pissed me off a bit so I had to get I have the individual bananas on the um, Pioneer so there you go I have the pot tie, tied tied up because these are the uh, cheapo uh, banana clips and they do wiggle a bit and on when it is actually spaced properly these get pretty close so a little bit of uh, army green duct tape. Solve that. Uh, and actually, these are the first speakers I've used with the covers on for like three days. I have been, I have used them for three days. I've used them for different music and movies, and they get pretty damn loud for their size. Everyone likes to cover off. They use the same little peg connectors that the Daytons use, but they're little rubber female parts are of a better quality. They don't get smashed up and destroyed the first time you use them. So, let's put on... Let's focus the window and then look. Cake? I like cake. Nugget's actually a good song. Oh. Shut off the subs, so now it's just these. Repeat track, who the hell sets that on? Something with vocals. 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 feet which I didn't put on obviously and that's why she's spinning around like a top as she plays so let's try that they are really good for their size they're the same drivers as in the Pioneer VS 21s and 22s I believe I think the Pioneers may have a uh, bigger tweeter but I won't hold that against them because these things do 
sound really good. And uh, one of the things I found out, which I'm not sure if this is a good or bad thing, is I find they have a much more defined center image if you are above them, like here. But where most speakers, are, I lean them back on a desk to get them to point at you. Uh, for some reason, while I was playing with these, pointing them nearly at the table gave me a defined center image here. It was very weird. It was super weird. It was... <laughs> test songs for this loudness. Some I got something to tell you. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm different. Crazy? Nah, I ain't I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm not like you. I'm not like others. It's like I've been here before. I've ever witnessed on a speaker and for such a little tiny speaker that's impressive yeah. let's weigh it down with garbage so you know there's a lot of movement going. there is a there is low end here it probably stops in the 65 to 70 range bitch what's that I rip tracks and pop tape I'm so popular they just got to rock what I spread time I gotta rock what I say I get smiled and jump around with a crocodile play There's two ways you can look at it. It could be a car, which is how I like to go about it, where you say, okay, let me sit in this Ferrari and drive it and see if I like it. And if you sit in the Ferrari and drive it and see if you like it, you like it, you like it. And then there's a the guy that'll sit there and look at the spec sheet on the car and say, oh, well, its top speed's only 177 miles an hour. That other car's top speed's 179 miles an hour. That's obviously the better car. That's bull. You either have to sit down and listen, just sit down and listen to them. Do you like them? Do you not like them? It's going to be different. All the speaker is going to be is different than another speaker you've heard. Is it going to have a lot of response? No. Yes. Maybe. More low end, less low end, higher dispersion, less dispersion. That's it. There, there's no right speaker. That isn't a right speaker. That isn't a right speaker. Those Sir and Vegas aren't right speakers. How many of the speakers I could point at? Those aren't right. Nothing is right. It's just different. There can be closer to flat. There can be further away from flat. There can be boomy. 
there can be shock, there can be super wide dispersion, there can be super narrow dispersion, there could be speakers that at 140 decibels, like nothing is happening, Just, whoa, giant folded horns. None of them are right. They're just different. So you can't say these are great. And by that logic, I have to admit that Beats headphones have a place in the world, which hurts my soul quite a bit because I hate anyone who wears Beats headphones. They're just misinformed. But what are they buying? They're buying that flavor of sound. It's like buying a Golf GTI and then putting you know a spoiler on the back of it, even though it's front wheel drive. It's what you choose to do and you're an idiot for doing that because it's a front wheel drive car you don't want to have the rear end pressed down because it's not doing any good for you because you're going to understeer like a bastard anyway so want to have some micas that cost 50 bucks and sound pretty damn good certainly better any logic set you'll ever buy just just throw it in the garbage these alone they don't have the kick of a plastic shitty logic subwoofer but you put any eight inch subwoofer with these or 10 inch subwoofers for 80 bucks and for $150, you get the Leapi amp, which I still wouldn't recommend the Leapi amp. That amp's 130 watts a channel, and I've taken it to, well, 40%. And I know that's not a real measurement of how much power these will handle, but they will take volume like no one's business. Let's put on something with volume. as good as these with even a shitty leap I am you've got a decent amp one of the toppings or the indeed and these will murder any dock any little baby boom box they're really good they're really clear I love them I love these speakers I may buy some more I may build one of these out of these just for fun because I said I could and I can and I did. Just, just amazing little speakers. Are they going to beat giant home theater speakers? No, not in volume. Four inch driver just can't move that much air. But your desk, perfect. These are, these are just right for a desk. Here's a desk, there's a monitor. Granted it's a 17 inch from the garbage. That's perfect. You put them up on some stands, and you want for nothing else. I used to recommend the Dayton's for desktop sound. They were a little big, and they could certainly get more more power to them and louder than these. But no, don't bother. These, get these. Just get these. They're amazing sounding. For fifty dollars.
the subwoofers, even though this song has nine. No. Just the speakers, no subs. taking care of myself in a balanced diet and a rigorous exercise routine. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand now. I could totally do a thousand stomach crunches. I just won't do it on camera. So, screw you. Uh, anything else I want to hear on these, for you to hear on these? God, I got a lot of soundtracks. Gone with the Wind, Close Encounters, Dirty Harry... The They're so good. More Dexter now. Organ music, now we're talking. Let's get to the part where the organ actually comes in. my mind. The light, you could use them, as, oh, use them as rear channels. Use them as front channels. Get some, like, $500 stands and put these on them. Just blow people's minds. Lie to them. Tell them they're, they, oh, these, these are the, um, Jackrabbit Diamond series. Straight out of Brazil. They're made by one man in Brazil. They cost $5,000 a pair. They're not gonna say no. Put a point one subwoofer somewhere, not in the corner, but, and these will just Solve all your small I need speaker needs. Period. I don't care what their measurements are. I don't care what the room for correction they need to be correct. Correct. They're fucking phenomenal. For their son. They're are they as good as the original Dayton's? No. No. They're too small. They don't have the low end, they don't have the the volume that the original Dayton's have. But they're just as surprisingly good. Micah? Who the hell is... What the hell is a Micah? I don't even know what a Micah is. I recommended them, but they're the smaller. They are absolutely worth a recommendation. I've had 10, 12, under $100 pairs of bookshelves in my life. And there's a point where those Sir and Vegas were the best things I'd ever heard. 
I remember looping a sound file from GTR2 of an engine idling. And those things were just the sloppiest bass, blah, 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 engine idle sound ever. And I just would hold myself against them. And they were excellent for the time. Then I heard the Daytons, and those were just, okay, those are garbage now. Because even though the Daytons didn't go as low, the highs weren't as murderous as those Surin Vegas. Now that I've heard these, I know that you can get a smaller speaker and still have that just... Oh, I'm listening to organ music. God damn it. Corn. Oh, I've got that, um... Uh, what the hell's the name of that song? No, I don't want to hear the one with... I think this is the most talking I've ever done in my whole career. Damn it. Throw me away now. We were doing this song. Oh, here you go. Different ways to make this special and different because of the whole acoustic thing. We're not really used to um, this, and we decided to provide a taiko ensemble up with us. These are Japanese taiko drums, and I think it's a very amazing instrument when they're all played together. So uh, I want to let them do their thing, and the song we're going to go into is "Throw Me Away," but let's let them go first. Nice and clean and simple. You heard them play. I recorded them playing. I'll put back my big speakers now and put these in a box. And these will stay in a very special spot where if someone says, I really need some speakers that are cheap and small. And I will bring these to them. And I'll bring my little Dayton D1 and I'll go, here you go. And I'll blow their minds. They even look, they even look so damn nice. Look how nice they look. Why would anyone buy something else? I haven't taken them apart yet. I know there's no crossover. Let's go through the uh, magnifying glass. Makes no difference. They do pick up dirt. I mean, I know this is my work table and there's just crap all over it, but they do. This vinyl texture just mm, picks up everything. If I rub it on a on your clothing before you go to work, take off all the pet hair. They're great. They're great. It's a long review. It's like 20 minutes long, but they're great. And they take lots of power if you want to give it to them. You could probably get away with set. What do they, do they claim on the back? How many watts? 75 watts? Absolutely believe it. 75 realistic Japanese vintage watts they'll take. And uh, I may have heard distortion at some point the other day when I re I was playing Inception, though, and it was a low quality riff. I can't play high def on this. And there might have been some breaking up. You can see it in the last video. But uh, no, not in music. Not. Not on Japanese taiko drums, on a corn album, they play that fine. They play Spanish music fine. They play vocals fine. They play everything fine. Damn it. I love these now. Alright, well that's it. Link for them in the description if you want to, uh, it's an Amazon affiliate link. I'll make two dollars if you buy them. From me. And that's it. That's, that's the honesty bit. You don't want to buy them from me? Just go to Amazon, search MB42, and they'll pop right up. And buy them for someone else. <laughs> 